this prison warden is simply a devil. He came up with such a cruel method of connecting the mouths and buttocks of over 900 inmates to create the legendary human centipede, claiming it would save a significant amount of food expenses. The idea is that as long as one person is full, everyone in the prison won't go hungry. Enraged, the warden's blood pressure soared, leading him to demonstrate his brutality in front of the inmates. He singled out the one who cursed at him the most, tied him to a bed, covered his face with a towel, and then poured buckets of steaming hot water directly onto his face. Despite the extreme cruelty, using violence to control, the inmates proved ineffective. After watching the warden leave, still furious, he seized the number to Troublemaker with tattoos and brutally cut off his testicles. The prison chef then pan fried them until medium rare, sprinkled top quality white pepper, took a bite, making John dry heave at the sight. The warden believed this would intimidate the prisoners, but they remained unfazed. At this point, John, the warden's assistant, suddenly thought of a perfect solution, turning the prisoners into a human centipede by connecting their mouths to their buttocks. He shared the idea with the warden, suggesting sewing them together one by one. This would not only save a considerable amount of funds, but also effectively control their habit of cursing the warden. It seemed like a flawless plan, even saving on food expenses as long as one person was fed. The entire prison would be satisfied. The warden found the idea highly feasible and praised John as a genius. To suppress the criminals, enthusiasts of the human centipede proposed, sewing the prisoner's mouths onto another person's buttocks, creating a human centipede. This not only facilitated control, but also fed them with just one portion of food. That night, the warden showed the inmates a film, causing an uproar as they rebelled. Determined to overthrow the warden, the warden quickly hid and called in guards to subdue the prisoners. Taking advantage of the confusion, he loaded tranquilizers into his gun and systematically brought the inmates down, proceeding to perform preoperative examinations. The excitement on the warden's face was palpable as he examined the bedridden prisoner, suffering from gastrointestinal issues, reveling in the prospect of his plans coming to fruition. If you ever found yourself in the hands of this sadistic prison warden, you'd likely think twice about breaking the law again. He is planning to connect over a thousand inmates end to end without any anesthesia, creating a human centipede. Even the director, after witnessing it, couldn't help but vomit on the spot. At this moment, the inspector show arrives for an inspection. Seeing the long line of human centipedes, he is utterly astonished. The prisoner at the very front is about to lose God's mercy because the warden intends to connect them into a circle, placing him at the very end of the line. This way, they can achieve an infinite loop like a perpetual motion machine. There's an upgraded version as well the human caterpillar. These are death row inmates about to be executed. Their limbs are severed and then reconnected. Even the director, after seeing this, vomits out his recently eaten lunch. Finally, the governor is taken to a sick room, where a soon-to-be-released prisoner lies on a hospital bed. Only neo marks remain on his lips, while his body appears healthy. After a casual conversation, he smiles and asks the governor if he's satisfied. The governor angrily calls him a lunatic and leaves. The two remaining individuals are left feeling defeated. This method is ineffective. They might still lose their jobs or even face the death penalty. The warden, seeing his job slipping away, takes out his frustration on the doctor. After shooting him, he aims at John, ready to kill him. However, the governor returns and expresses strong disgust for the warden's actions. 